My name is Tom Wyatt, and um, I am a photo artist and have been for many years, a member of the Pioneer Valley Photographic Artists. Uh, 60 years old now, um, but have been doing photography uh, since I was, oh, in my teens. Um, first learned on a rangefinder and um, gave it up for many years and had a few different careers teaching, retail sales, sales, uh, general managing uh, at a lumber yard. And when I turned 40, I uh, went to the Hallmark Institute of Photography and enrolled in that program, which is a 10-month intensive program on the nuts and bolts of photography, especially professional photography. And I did professional photography as a wedding portrait product uh, photographer for close to 10 years um, and then really decided that was not what I wanted to do. I enjoyed it. But what I really wanted to do in terms of photography was go out in the world and find things. Um, and what particularly interested me were reflections. Um, and I stumbled on those pretty early. Uh, one pond that I was going to visit a friend and saw the ripples uh, and reflections of birch trees in the fall. And I said, wow. And that was the beginning. Um, I also photographed on uh, objects that are on metal, like cars, um, glass, windows, uh, even wet streets, um, sand, wet sand, you name it, anything that's reflective. Um, people tend to call me the ripple guy because I like ripples, and uh, they show up in a lot of my images, not just water. Um, you can see them in other things, too. And what I really like is the whole sense of uh, adventure that uh, ripples and abstract images give for the viewer. Um, when I say abstract, I usually leave elements of realism in there, um, things that ground you in, oh, yeah, that's, I recognize that, but I don't recognize the rest of it, but at least it's a reference point. And it's something that a lot of people see my work initially and think, oh my god, this guy just plays on the computer and comes up with stuff. And when I explain that I found these things in the world around us, usually I get strange looks. Um, and people think I'm on <laughs> some kind of substances um, or, or um, that I'm just whacked out. Um, and I'm pleased to say that I am a little whacked out. And I have, and that's part of what this show is about, is that the other photographers here are a little unusual and like to see the world differently and like to be able to represent that to other people. Um, so when people finally do get it in their heads that these things can be found in the world out there, um, it often gives them a new appreciation of a puddle or a window that they might be walking by. And I'll have people call me up or send me an email and say, hey, you wouldn't believe what I saw. <laughs> you know, this pond had, you would have loved it. You know, and I feel like, OK, that's part of my job. And I've done that. I've, uh, I've trained their eye to look at these things that most people walk by. But they've learned, oh. You know, that's what Tom would be looking at, and it's interesting. Um, so that kind of surrealism, what I like to call it, um, the fact that it can be found in the world that's around us sort of gives a, I don't know, a, 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 you can call it profound, you can call it odd, um, but I like the sense um, of knowing that these things are out there and the way that I carry out the, the whole printing of them is I try and print according to what I saw, which isn't always what the camera captures. Cameras can, can um, trick you, um, and things can be underexposed, overexposed. Um, uh, perspective can be off. Um, so that's my goal. Um, 
So I do use Photoshop, I do use Lightroom, and I edit things um, to get them to what I saw. Um, so it's not like I suddenly decided I just want to uh, make everything a lot more colorful and saturate the Jesus out of it. Um, it's that reflections do actually intensify color. And so my, my work tends to be very colorful. Um, but when I see something reflected in water or in glass or in metal, that color has been intensified. So that's what I'm trying to show, what the eye would see, what the naked eye would see. Um, well, there's a number of artists that, that I have drawn on that have been mentors for me. Um, from uh, Impressionists such as Van Gogh and Monet to Surrealists like Magritte and uh, Ma uh, Matisse. Um, and then a, a number of photographers too. Um, if I look at these works, I do get inspired. Um, uh, Imogene Cunningham uh, was one of my favorites because she particularly liked to uh, go beyond uh, what was seen as normal, um, and uh, she also had a very full life. She had three children under the age of five, I think, and rather than stopping photography, she just changed her focus. She focused on her backyard and did um, all these still lifes of botanical um, work. Um, a number of other photographers, Jerry Oldsman, Jay Mizell um, have been inspirations as well. Um, they, all of them, if I look at it, I get excited. Um, and uh, it gives me a chance to look more in a more fresh way at my work and see how it's developed. Um, and, and there's a lot of images that I will pass by, even though they may be particularly scenic. Um, because there's a lot of people out there doing them, and I don't really see the point. My point is to provide something that people generally haven't seen. And I haven't seen a lot of people that do the work that I do, um, which I, you know, I get a kick out of. Um, one thing uh, that's unique about my work is that I print on aluminum, on metal. And that's something that I've come to in the last five years. And when I went to Hallmark, I was taught, um, we photographed transparencies primarily, I was taught that when those were printed, you would be disappointed because they would be flatter, they would have not as much contrast, not as much punch. Um, and I accepted that. Well, when I discovered uh, photography printed on metal, on aluminum, I found that that could be undone. That you could get the contrast and saturation that was there in the original capture on the print. Um, they have a luminous quality. Um, they're also very archival. Um, uh, fingerprints will wipe right off of them, and uh, they're scratch resistant. Um, but the luminous quality is the most exciting for me because I know that the work is is showing itself off the way I saw it and representing what I saw. <laughs>